the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 181 Isaiah 18-20 Isaiah's three-year performance God told South Judah to rely on only God instead of Egypt or Cushy through the naked performance of Isaiah. First point God told Isaiah to carry out a performance in order to show the people of South Judah not to rely on Egypt or Cushy, but only on God. Ahaz died and Hezekiah took his place as a king of South Judah. Cushy governed over Egypt, and they went into battle against Assyria with their extended army. But Cushy lost this war, and Assyria made Egypt and South Judah completely surrender to the Assyrian army. Assyria continuously threatened South Judah, and so Hezekiah made plans to make an alliance with Egypt. God tried to block this, and so ordered Isaiah to walk around Jerusalem naked for three years. God tried to show through Isaiah's performance that Egypt and Cushy would be ridiculed as they were to be taken to Assyria in the days to come. Thus, South Judah was to only rely on God. Second point, Ahaz was a pro-Assyrian, and his son Hezekiah was anti-Assyrian, and so Hezekiah tried to make an alliance with Cushi. God explained that Cushi and Egypt would fall in the hands of Assyria. God's orders were clear. Assyria would conquer Aram and North Israel, but that would be as far as it goes. Therefore, God told South Judah to not make an alliance with Egypt. The overall message was that Assyria would fall as well. On the surface, it appeared that Assyria would attack and invade Jerusalem at any point, but God proclaimed that this would not happen and that Assyria would also see a horrendous fall. In 8th century BC, Assyria was the most powerful empire, but even Assyria would not last a long time. In the future, all these powerful countries would end up bringing tribute to Mount Zion, where God resided. Third point, to Hezekiah, who wanted to make an alliance with Egypt, God told him that Egypt was to fall. When Assyria defeated Cushi, South Judah tried to make an alliance with Egypt. And so God told Isaiah to tell South Judah of God's judgment on Egypt. This warning was also directed at South Judah. God said that Egypt would experience internal hardship and that their abundance would be gone. To think that the Nile would no longer supply abundance was a difficult thing to fathom at the time. Through this, the people were to understand that they were only to rely on God. As such, God told South Judah of what was to happen to Egypt and then explained through Isaiah that Egypt would fear South Judah after hearing God's words. God told Isaiah, of his rule of the entire world and how peace would occur. Fourth point, in order to prevent South Judah from making an alliance with Egypt, Isaiah went around South Judah naked for three years to make God's point. The circumstances during 8th century BC can be seen in 2 Kings 17 verse 6. Right on, when the Philistine wars became invaded, South Judah once again asked for help from Egypt and Cushy rather than God. In God's perspective, this was extremely serious, 
And here, Isaiah made up his mind to do something which was very difficult. Isaiah, who was an esteemed scholar of those days, went to such measures in order to show the people that if they did not obey God, then they would be more ridiculed than the stripped and barefoot Isaiah. During the time of Isaiah, Assyria was dominating the religion and the newly emerging Babylonian Empire was finding ways to defeat Assyria. Amid these circumstances, Egypt was trying very hard to rise back up to their glory days, but the world did not operate according to them. Fifth point, Isaiah rebuked Hezekiah for his self-reliant ways and also for wanting to make an alliance with Egypt. During 8th century BC, when the ancient Near East political circumstances were booming, Hezekiah in South Judah was self-reliant, anti-Assyrian and pro-Egyptian. Isaiah therefore rebuked him and warned him. Isaiah told him that rather than being selfish, he should care for the weak and poor and practice leaving the edges of his field according to the laws of a kingdom of priests. Isaiah told Hezekiah not to ignore the people who were relying on the Jerusalem walls for their lives. Isaiah also warned him not to be pro-Egyptian, but rather to have faith in God. Hezekiah was trying to make an alliance with Egypt since offering tribute to Assyria was becoming more difficult. But despite being warned, Hezekiah did not stop his plans. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyango Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zo is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.